So nearly two years ago, I made you all a 60 day plan to promote your song. I heard from a lot of you how much it helped you and how many new fans you got to hear your music as well as how helpful it was to have a plan to stick by and build your own off of. But times have changed as well as the apps that can help to promote your music. So I wanted to update this plan. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a plan with some theory on how I would promote my joke band Incel Hypebeast's new hit song, Industry Plant Based God and I will show you what I would post each day of the single's promotion to be as effective as possible so you can draw from this and learn how to promote yourself. So before we get started, you may at some point get confused because you may not know about my method of releasing a song every 45 to 60 days and why that is the most effective pace to release music. It helps to have watched my video on this, but it isn't necessary. But if you wanna watch that, it's linked on the screen now or in the description and will be even linked at the end of this video. Okay, so let's make sure we got what we need before we ever start promoting. First and most importantly, I would suggest that you have the next two songs you're going to promote be produced, mixed, mastered, and that you have the album cover videos, the lyric videos, and music videos all completely finished in addition to the one we're about to start promoting. So that's three videos for three songs in total. For everyone who thinks this is unrealistic, this video is exactly for you. This was because on this channel, we're always talking about how consistent, sustained promotion is one of the main keys to promoting your music. And the way the consistent part of that usually fails is that you don't have a ton of content already made so that you're ahead when things go wrong. This truly is the most important factor of what we're about to do. This means when you have a bad week because that e-girl you've been messaging with turns out to be the guy you called a racial slur on a video game stream and karma serves you what you deserve, a catfish. Well, you're still ahead on your promotions when you're laying in bed crying your eyes out as you contemplate your life decisions. Hopefully once you get out of bed from the heartbreak, you can stay on track with your music promotions because you were so prepared in advance and had all this content already done to make all of your promotions super easy so you can react to the flood of comments you're getting. But really what this also ensures is that when your director's a month late on your project, you still have months to go before that project comes out. That way you don't lose out on how much consistency really helps you promote your music and helps perceive you as someone who takes your music seriously so your community gives you opportunities since so much of what we are doing is also that the powerful people in the music industry give opportunities to people who are making big consistent moves and that they see are always grinding on their music. But let's say you have all those music videos and songs ready to go and then you have a bunch of art and photos and behind the scenes footage shot already and other things that you could promote to tell stories around. Well, if you have all that, well, that means you have everything you need to promote your song, and we're pretty confident that you'll be able to stay ahead of the curve if you start to get a lot of opportunities and you won't fall behind. So we're going to release your song on a Wednesday. I'm often asked what day to release your music on, and my answer is always Tuesday through Thursday. Your favorite artists flood the zone with music on Fridays, and your music is not going to be the fix someone is looking for, since why would they search for new music when their fave has already put out an album of new music that day? Saturday and Sunday, less people are on the internet and social media. So that's a bad idea to release that in general. And people are listening to those new releases that came out on Friday still on the weekend. Monday, everybody who actually has a job, I know some of you can't understand this, everyone's catching up on all the work and emails that have come in that they're behind on. So Tuesday through Thursday is your best bet, in my opinion. I should say, you will notice this promotion plan is much more of a daily putting a small rock to build a big pile rather than an all day grind. So this matters, but it's not the most important. Release day and music video release day are the only two days I really advise flooding social media and your community. And instead, all the other days is just steady reminders and storytelling that remind people to listen and give you deeper bonding to the song. This lets your audience not be overwhelmed with your presence, giving you time to work on building community and keep writing songs. And this promotion plan starts on the day of releasing your song. I know some of the absolute hacks who do these YouTube release plans do 14 days of promoting your song before anyone can even hear it. But as I explained in my video on why teasing your song is dumb, which is in the description if you need to see it, if you promote a song no one can hear for 14 days, you don't build momentum, you annoy everyone. So as a bonus though, I am gonna tell you what I do before release day, which is two to four posts the week before your song comes out that ask your biggest fans to pre-save your song. Since if they do this, we can get their emails since pre-save tools capture that 
And your email list is super important since email is the most effective marketing channel and part of getting your song into the Spotify algorithm. And this is all leading me to say that also the follows you get on Spotify help you out to get heard by more people on Spotify and be more likely to get it spread in the algorithm. But most crucially, it's that you need to send out an email to your entire list at midnight that your song is out since that will send to people likely to drive up your popularity score as they like you enough to give you their email address and very likely to listen numerous times. So get it right out at midnight on release day so it's waiting in your fans' mailbox for them whenever they open their email. Okay, so let's say it's release day, day one, and you're gonna put out your song to all the streaming services and release a single screen video to YouTube, AKA one of just your album cover. Release day is your day to make a lot of noise. And I'm actually gonna graze over this a bit since I made a whole video on how to make a huge splash on release day. And to go over it in this video would put another 10 minutes on this already long video. And if you wanna watch that video, it's of course in the description. So hit the books or uh, videos. But I do wanna add to it, since the last time I made a video like this, we weren't in the TikTok era. One of the things we have to remember about TikTok is it's so much different than the other social media platforms. In that even if you have no followers, your TikToks can get served to people who've never followed you, and it's highly unlikely that will happen on the day you post them. Most TikToks are watched over time, and day one is really not likely to be it, but so many artists think they need their strongest TikToks to be on day one. But much like how I argue you shouldn't put out your best song first and build up momentum using focus tracks to your best song so you have momentum and more people hear your best song, you should do the same with TikTok. And if you don't know what I mean by that whole release strategy, there's a video in the description yet again. Anyway, it's the same with TikTok. On day one, let's get the song out there with a strong idea you have for a TikTok. But if you already have a really great idea for a TikTok, keep it in your pocket for a minute. Since if this TikTok you put out gets watched by a lot of people, most likely TikTok will serve the really strong one to the people who liked that one. And hopefully by then, the earworm of your song will be familiar to them and they'll be more likely to watch it. So what I wanted you to do today though is to put out a TikTok that has your song in it that feels strong, but if you have no ideas, feel free to just do a lip sync video or one where you perform the song. But let's also remember on release day and for the entire first month of your release, drive people to Spotify. Since if your song is getting listens on Spotify, it's more likely to go into the algorithm. We'll link to YouTube later when you have a music video, but the first two weeks of your song's release are super determinative if it gets to the algorithm. So we wanna try our best to start off strong and get it in there. So on day two, this is where most of you already begin to fall off. It's a time to tell a story about the song on Instagram. We gotta keep this going and maintain interest. Remember, the game is to keep any conversations around the story of the song you're telling. And you're gonna to try to make this a day where the socially skilled person in your group can stay up on comments and keep your posts spreading. But I wanna make a note about what so many people mess up on day two. With any luck, people will mention your song in their stories, but try to avoid oversharing those. Instead, only reward the best few if that's a problem you're lucky enough to have. And if you worry about disappointing fans who shared your song on stories, instead, all of those people who didn't make the best story to share your song, I would send them an audio message in their DMs and personally thank them since that will be just as good if not better than a share and ramp up their enthusiasm to you even more. But over on TikTok, we're gonna post another video of the song. This could be a text over overlay video if you have no other ideas. And if you don't know what that is, this is where you take the hook of your song and overlay your lyrics and the text on it, using it as a background. If you can't find a background that fits the emotion of your song that's interesting, you get it story blocks or Envato or even artist lists, which I just started using, which is really affordable and has some more artsy type B-roll that's really moody. Or a free option is on Splash. Or you can even type things into Dalai 2 or Mid Journey so you get something that feels like the mood of the song to make this with. And remember, we're gonna use the same hook of the song over and over and over again in every TikTok every day of this plan. Okay, day three. It's now Friday and you're fighting against all the other acts making music for attention today. So now is a great time to update your Spotify artist playlist where you put in some of your favorite songs and add some new releases that's out or some new finds you found of artists similar to you and promote that that playlist is now updated since after all, Friday is the day to listen to new music. Let's tweet it out and share that playlist and tag the small groups on it on Twitter and Insta in your stories. And if you don't know about this technique that I use to build fans that's super effective with Spotify, the video I made about that is also linked in the description. And on this day after the song has been out, 
I add that video you made of just your album cover to my playlist of all the singles on YouTube and share that on YouTube to remind people they can still listen to it. On day three, we're gonna put up another TikTok and some of you are like, Jesse, how many of these are we going to do? And to that I say, bruh, I don't know if you've received the memo, but posting 30 to 60 TikToks is breaking a lot of songs where the artists were totally unknown and now have hundreds of thousands to millions of plays and people interested in their next song. So I'd be negligent not telling you to employ that. Since the fact is what's unique about TikTok is it will surface that video repeatedly and I've seen it happen before. In fact, this band on the screen now, October Drift, have posted videos just like this of them going off to their song and it's gotten them some numbers. I checked them out because the hook of their song got in my head. So we're gonna do this, but it's time to make another. I do a video where you show some behind the scenes footage or something fun that shows your personality while playing your song in it. And some of you are like, I'm not doing that. And listen, that's cool. It's your choice what you do here. It's just a guide of what I would do if you really wanted to go hard. But it's impossible to deny TikTok is the biggest mover of what breaks music today and you ignore it at your own peril. But I also respect your decision to do whatever you can handle and that's fine and this plan can still work for you. Okay, day four and five, I'm gonna combine since it's the weekend. Since as I said, less people are on the internet and social media. So the weekend isn't the most effective time for promotion. So I try to keep promo like and one of the reasons I'm releasing a song on Wednesday instead of Friday is you don't get the uphill battle of having day two and three of your promotion be on the weekend. Now is a great time to do some personality posts. And even if they are from the past, show yourself and your Insta stories and share the pics on Twitter, but particularly say the emotion that people would feel if they streamed your new song. Like if it's a party rock anthem, show you turning up on the weekend and show how they would feel if they listen to that song. So for me and my song, Industry Plant Based God, we're gonna try and make content here that's fun for those who follow you with less over promotion since we don't wanna waste time doing pure promotion. So the key to these posts is to show people how they could be feeling if your track was playing. If it's a slow classical piano piece, maybe post a beautiful video of some rain on a glass. And if it's named something like Industry Plant Based God, it's time to post a rager of you getting fucking slizzard, bro. Okay, but now that you know you're gonna be posting a lot of TikToks, let me give you the formula I like to do for the first 30 videos. We're gonna do five to 10 lip sync or performance videos. I like to get these out in the first two weeks, especially since they're doing really well on TikTok right now. And a lot of artists can make them in a few minutes and anyone could do them. You can see the sum right here on the screen now. And if you're a band, perform all together or not. Then we're gonna do five POV videos, which are those videos where you play the hook of your song and say with the caption, point of view, you're listening to industry plant-based God and you show the emotion someone would feel if they were listening to your song. Like for example, then we're gonna do five behind the scenes videos that are just showing you goofing off or doing something fun or showing your lifestyle to people while your song plays in the background. Then we're gonna do five to 10 concept videos. These are videos where you study TikTok as I've described in previous videos and you come up with potential videos that could turn your song into a trend or you follow a trend that already exists. You try to take the lyrics you're singing and make scenarios relatable where other people will make videos similar to them. If you need to learn more on this, hit the description and watch my guide to TikTok that's in there. So then to fill the rest of the days, we're gonna make one to 10 overlay text videos that I talked about earlier, AKA the ones where you just caption the lyrics of your hook over some stock footage or B-roll, hoping to reinforce the hook of the song into the algorithm. There's no order to post these in after the first days, just cycle through them as much as you can and keep pushing the earworm of your song into the algorithm. Now on day six, let's make a Facebook post and we're gonna share it on your Instagram stories with a picture of it. Since we always wanna be reminding your fans that they can get more of you or follow you on their preferred platform, especially if it gets them off of Facebook to Twitter, Insta, or TikTok. But reposting a tweet on your Instagram story is a great way to drop a hint that your fans should be following you on Twitter as well. Here's how I like to see YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. So what I like to do is each week, I look at what did best on TikTok and post it to YouTube shorts. This way it won't cannibalize TikTok if someone watches both shorts and TikTok. If you post it a week or more later, it will still be timeless enough that you could post it for YouTube's algorithm, which also I should say works totally different than TikToks. Literally everyone I talk to, if it does well on TikTok, it probably bombs on YouTube and reels and all around vice versa. But of course you wanna know about Instagram Reels. 
I like to do a one week delay and post to Reels whatever you posted to TikTok seven days before and mirror it exactly. Since let's be honest, Reels rarely work better for artists but can help spread your song. Instagram is where people go to learn more about you and then if they want more, they follow you and keep up with you there and they're gonna be forgiving if they've seen this Reel before. I should say, in the coming weeks, there'll be separate videos that go even deeper on this plan on what to do on Spotify and YouTube and an even more detailed one on TikTok because it's too much to cover in one video, which is also why you should be subscribed and have notifications on. And after I release all those videos, I'm going to put out a full calendar for everybody on my mailing list that you can download to have what you should put out every single day of this and ideas for it all throughout that you can customize to your own. So be sure to sign up for that in the description. Now, day seven, we need to shed more light on the story. This could be behind the scenes videos or talking more about the story of the song. As I told you, you should write the stories you have down in five different ways. It's time to tell the story of the song another way. So let's post that story and then put it in some of our socials. I know some of you are new here and you're like, what the hell is this guy talking about with stories? Storytelling is how you actually blow up on social media. If you don't get that, there's another playlist in the description. Like I said, it's day seven, so let's see which of your videos did best and schedule them to go up on YouTube as shorts a week after they were released. Day eight, your song is now been out for a week and if you really want to get engagement tell people something vulnerable they can latch on to and tie it back to the song for example when i wrote industry plant-based god i realized i was engaging in a lot of self-destructive behavior and while i really did love my life i wasn't acting like it and had to change my behavior to reflect that see that was vulnerable day nine this is an important day. Let's find some other way to contextualize this song. Grab some imagery that you have and post it in your story while your song plays so we can keep reinforcing the hook. This could be you doing something or even a scene from a movie or a meme and attach your music to it so that way we can keep playing your hook for your followers and get it in their head. And don't forget, it's a day ending with Y, so post on TikTok and repost a video from the week before on Reels. Day 10, it's Friday, and I would make one of those Spotify music and talk episodes and play some music you like and talk about it. Be sure to do what I suggested in my video on these, which is linked in the description, and tag the smaller groups you play in them on Instagram and Twitter. Hell, even Facebook. Show some personality and let people bond with you and hear some new music. Day 11 and 12, it's the freaking weekend. And it's time to do what we did last week and some more. But here's gonna be my little tweak. If you happen to be up late around 10 or 12 or you wanna schedule a post, Post your song then. Many people are alone and vibing, and one of the weirdest phenomenons I've seen when I've tracked clicks is that you could get weird spikes off sharing at this time for people who are just hanging solo since no one else is promoting their music on the weekend late at night, and there's so many people who are home alone, bored, doing nothing. Day 13, another Monday. Now enough time has passed that people are hopefully are vibing to your song very hard. Ask for a follow with a hyper follow link and some idiolect of your own. And no, idiolect is not you talking like an idiot. It means the unique way in which you speak. Try to capitalize on people's enthusiasm and get that Spotify follow so you get in more release radar playlists when your next song drops. Also, if you've had any press by now, this is a great time to share it as you've probably gotten some momentum and you could really try to convert those people who aren't taking it seriously that they should listen to the song. Day 14, so that story you shared on day one, let's bring back a variation on it and change some of the words and details and try to keep getting some traction here with this story and tell more of it so people can keep going deeper with you. If you're a meme person, let's make some memes about the song and put it in your stories or even on grid. And if you're a visuals person, let's make some beautiful imagery and put your song behind it and keep giving people new ways to feel the emotion of the song. And I hope you're still posting a TikTok a day and to your reels. Day 15, it's time to release your lyric video or visualizer. So let's talk about the visuals or the mood of the song. Single out some lyrics and expand upon them. And if you don't feel like explaining your lyrics, talk about lyrics in other people's songs and draw it back to your song like I do here. It's another week, so we need to look what's been working on TikTok and schedule the greatest hits for YouTube Shorts. You now have 14 candidates, and whichever is doing best of those 14 that you haven't posted should go up. And don't forget to do your weekly delays of posting everything a week later on Instagram Reels. Day 16, it's time to remind people you just put up the lyric video and then drop it in the playlist of your own discography on YouTube and let everyone see that playlist link. And also, make sure your song's in all your Spotify playlists, including your artist playlists and your discography ones, and share those. 
Two days after the lyric video drops, I replace it in my playlist and talk about another song that my fans hopefully will enjoy. Since nothing else gets people listening to a song like thinking they're going to get an emotional feeling from a song they already liked. Day 17, it's Friday. It's time to share your playlist of music that you've been enjoying of similar artists to you and tag them in it, just like we did on previous Fridays. Let's also make sure to share each time your hook happens in your lyric video and post it to TikTok for as many days as that fills up. On day 18 and 19, it's the same drill as the other weekends, but this time we're gonna schedule a tweet in Instagram for super early in the morning on Sunday and try to catch those early birds who are up reading social media on their phone. Use the schedule function in Facebook Creator Studio for Instagram and Facebook Facebook and Twitter can be scheduled using TweetDeck. And let's try to catch a different crowd than we've been catching. Day 20, let's do an Instagram Live with everyone who worked on the song with you or another artist if you do it all yourself and get someone else's audience to get hip to you. The idea is their followers will see you talking and hopefully discover you and you should definitely play the song in your stream. Day 21, get creative here. Let's find a fun way to talk about your song that's different than the other ways we've been doing. It could be a story from recording. Wikipedia is something you reference in the lyrics and explain it. Talk about some aspect of it you haven't before. Day 22. Two, let's zone in on a lyric from the video and tell a story about it. In fact, let's Google variations on the lyric and make some jokes about some other songs that have lyrics similar to yours and maybe find some playful way of mentioning the lyrical theme you have and how other people have talked about it so if they like that song, it can bring them back to yours. This idea is super popular on TikTok right now and can get people to pay attention to your song to hear the end if you do it right. And of course, we should go through TikTok and find one that did well and put it into shorts. Day 23, let's yet again tell one of those variations on the main story of the song that you've been telling. As I've said, you should have five ways of telling the story of the song. It's time to call it another one and pull it out and post it onto Instagram on grid with a caption. Day 24, it's Friday again. Let's update your music and talk episodes. Maybe bring on a guest and try to get their audience to hear your new songs and some other music similar to yours. Day 25 and 26, yep, it's the weekend, but to change up the weekend, we're gonna ask your followers a question to interact with on Instagram and promote the song in the answers. Do a QA and a and try to get some fun fan bonding going and do whatever you can with Instagram's functions to try to drive some engagement and play around with this on the weekend while doing all the other things we talked about doing on other weekends. Day 27, let's do a flashback to your past and put it in context with your new song. Talk about how far you've come. People love a hero's journey for musicians. So if you show them that they should be following along on your journey, it will help keep them sticking around and talk about you to their friends and spread the word about you. Day 28, it's time to preview the music video with an image. Just put up something that's striking and remind people to listen to the song and hopefully get psyched to watch the music video. But I want you to do something a little bit different here, is I want you to look back at the TikToks you've made so far and see what's done best and what you can reiterate upon and make a slightly different version of or even improve. Let's do something that what's working and let's start making those for this week. Whatever's working best, let's try to do even better versions of them and post those in the coming week. Day 29. Release the music video and go wild like it's release day. Seriously, treat this the way I suggested in my release day video and really bring the song to the full promotion it deserves. I recently made a video on how to turn your music video into TikToks, and you can do just that to repeat the hook as many times as you can by pulling footage from it. It's now been a month since you last promoted the song heavily and did a day of really nonstop promotion. And this is the best time to do it since music videos offer the best way to interact with the song and have fans really build a relationship and give them something to tell their friends about with the song. Day 30, we just had the biggest event of the single release, the moment we've been building up to. So it's time to keep going wild. Let's really push this thing and be shameless. Two days after the music video drops, I add the song to my music videos playlist. I take the single screen of the lyric video out of any playlists on YouTube I need to, and then I tell a story about the video in my YouTube stories. Day 31, it's time to update your similar artist playlist on Spotify again and tag new artists in it. And hopefully by now, you've received some UGC, which is sort for user-generated content when you're talking to a f nerd. If you're getting UGC, you can be stitching or reposting it on TikTok and sharing it across platforms to Instagram, Twitter, if it's really good. But you should always review it and the rest of your TikToks and Reels and see what's doing well with users and build off of it and improve what's already being done to your songs, yourself. Try to find patterns and similarities to what is done well and think how you can improve upon it and make 
those videos and post them each day. Day 32 to 33, if you've captured some of your behind the scenes footage from your music video, share those over the weekend and in your stories and tweet them out here and tell a little story so that people watch your music video and really try to create curiosity about it by showing the imagery and what went into it. Day 34, today let's show some interactions if there's fun YouTube or Instagram interactions where you show personality or shed light on the song. Let's post those to Twitter and Instagram. Day 35, your fans have now had a week to watch your video. And tonight we're gonna go on Instagram Live with everyone in the video, the director, any actors, a photographer who was involved, etc. Invite them on one at a time and talk about the song and the video and what else they're working on. And most of all, play the damn video. I should say, you can also do this on a TikTok Live if that platform is doing better for you. On this day, you should launch an open verse challenge on TikTok where you play the hook of your song and then an instrumental after which could be the chorus or the verse and allow it to be duetted on TikTok and hopefully users will create content to get your hook played and have other users spread your music without doing all the work, which I am sure by now you'll appreciate. Let's Make go! sure to hashtag it with the open verse hashtag as well. Day 36, your video has been out for a week. Let's talk about one of the visuals in it or give a glimpse on what's in it and make a post about it. Day 37, let's show a picture of you hard at work at an upcoming song, but let's play up how this latest song is just the beginning and how the song you're promoting is influencing the new one. Day 38, and I know you're gonna be shocked here, but we're gonna do another music and talk set and keep pushing your new song to music similar to yours. So hopefully we can get some of those similar artist fans to hear your new song and build bonds with existing fans. Seriously, it only takes an hour to do one of these. It's such great promotion. And then you can make a graphic for it on Instagram to promote it and tweet it out. Day 39 and 40. And I know, trust me, this is getting long, but let's just mix up some of those techniques we did on the other weekends. Look through your analytics and see if those morning posts or those late night posts work better than others. And let's do whatever worked best again and push the music video. On day 41, I want to make sure you've been posting some behind the scenes stuff of your videos onto YouTube stories. And I know we've been talking about just posting the greatest hits of TikTok, but that should be getting littered throughout. And if you haven't done that now, now's a great time to start pushing it. Now that we're a little bit of time out, we can keep building momentum on your music video and reminding people to take it in who are maybe busy the week before. Day 42, let's do the ultimate internet thirst trap. Post a picture from when you were younger and put up a hook of your song in it on your Instagram story. And you can do this on TikTok too, since, since this isn't what always works best, but it does work. And we still want to keep finding other ways you could post your hook. Let's again review all of the user generated content and look at what worked and reiterate upon it and make sure the best is getting posted on YouTube shorts. Okay, now we're going to wrap up with day 43 through 60. So either we start again right here or we release an alternate version of your song and keep promoting that alternate alternate version the way we did in previous weeks. For the last two weeks, promote your new acoustic version, remix, feature version of the song, or whatever you're gonna do to change the song with this technique. Let's sustain this until the next song comes out two weeks later, pointing back to the music video and making content around your hook or alternate version. If you're not gonna do an alternate version of the song, you can pick up from the last 43 days of promotion, any of the things we just talked about, and keep pushing the song until you release the next one. But in the TikTok era, pushing the song for an extended period really is everything, as hopefully the wave of momentum of the algorithm finding people to serve is gonna keep growing. But the key is to just keep going and show people you're taking the song seriously and remind them to listen to it. By now, I am sure you have picked up the rules and the patterns for the next two weeks, and you should continue these patterns until you release your next song and then start the campaign on that one. And I should say, there's nothing wrong with if some good user-generated content comes out from the first song during any other song's time. Feel free to promote it. You don't need hard lines of errors here. Just keep reminding people to grow their relationship with your new music or make content that will hopefully bring it to new fans. And while you just learned all this, you should really study my video on what to do on release day since that day is hugely important. It's on the screen now and you should make sure to learn that and level up. Or if you go to the description, dive into my 60-day plans for TikTok, Spotify, or YouTube if they're out already. Thanks for watching.